An album is more than just a list of tracks. It's a moment in time captured by an artist. And the album cover is the visual representation of this moment. Making an interactive edition of Labyrinths, we wanted to take this notion a step farther, gamify the experience and create a new kind of album using the web, computers and touch devices as means of artistic expression. The physical artwork consists of a complex object that represents Labyrinths. It appears 3D, but it was actually hand-printed on a typewriter by the artist Grisha Karkozov. This was our starting point, and from there we had to figure out how it translates into an interactive piece. We created an audio reactive object based on the original artwork and connected it to the cursor location and the gestures on mobile. It's built as a web app using the browser and the Whitestone player, so listeners can experience the album and play it on mobiles and desktops. We thought it would be fun to have the GIF generator built into the app so fans can quickly share their animations online. And so we connected directly to the GIFI API, uh, which allows for quick integration with Facebook and Twitter. The Whitestone player is essentially a container for interactive albums with built in track lists, credit page, and sharing functionalities. It allows artists to release special editions of their digital albums varying from full screen artworks to virtual reality experiences. It's exciting to see where online music is heading. Streaming is just the baseline of online music and these kind of experiments give us a glimpse into the future. <laughs>